But uh, Sonia, I think we have the management of uh, Mazgao Dock joining us. Yes, now. we do. In fact, recently Mazgao Dock completed 250 years in service. Uh, Defence Secretary Giridhar Aramane described Mazgao Dock as a precious jewel in the crown of India that has contributed immensely to building capacities for naval and commercial purposes. Now, the shipbuilders recently acquired land from the Mumbai Port Authority as well. Uh, so, to discuss more on the way forward, what's the roadmap? We have Sanjeev Singhal, the Chairman and Managing Director of Mazgao Dock Shipbuilders, who's joining in. Uh, Sanjeev, thanks a lot for joining in. And, I mean, you know, the stock as well has been a huge performer in the last one year. It's given great returns to shareholders. So, congratulations on uh, several fronts, on completing 250 years and, of course, adding a lot of value to shareholders as well. But uh, I want to start by asking you, you know, some questions on the earnings, right? Because you've had uh, good growth over the last couple of quarters. Uh, I want to understand what is the roadmap from here? What are the growth drivers? Any change in either the vision of the company, the mission? And what kind of annual uh, compounded growth can the company deliver over the next three to five years? As far as the financial figures are concerned, I was told that I will not be speaking about financials because this happens to be the silent period up to the public publication of the accounts uh, sure. and approval by the board. Uh, so broadly, I will be maintaining whatever has been there uh, with respect to the past quarter. So mm -hmm. without very uh, much on the financial performance, what I can speak about the company is, yes, the points which you have touched upon, uh, that there is a, a specific... Uh, persistent thrust on indigenization and uh, exports and on uh, these fronts uh, Bazgaon Dock Shipbuilders is working very consistently as uh, you have informed that we have recently acquired additional 15 acres of land on long-term lease from Mumbai Port Authority and uh, this is uh, the land which is at the existing country for Dock Shipbuilders. So this facilitates uh, in many respects that this would be a feeder facility, a, a lot of duplicate Duplication of investments is safe, so we can create infrastructure and we have plans to create infrastructure and certain balancing facilities, uh, which would be adding to the infrastructure and capabilities and capacities of the existing yard. Uh, in addition, we have also started developing the Nava yard, approximately 10 nautical miles from the existing yard. And we plan to construct uh, vessels uh, for which we have already received the orders, around 21 vessels from Coast Guard, which we will receive between October to January 23-24. So these vessels we plan to construct uh, at the Nava yard uh, with the floating dry dock, which we expect to be in place by October next year. So through roll-on, roll-off operations, the vehicles, uh, vessels will be launched. So these are some of the programs uh, we have also initiated uh, and found some success in the area of exports. Uh, so we have received certain orders uh, around six vessels uh, we have received from a European client and we expect these are certain steps uh, which are in the right direction. And as uh, rightly pointed out that Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders continues to be a jewel in the uh, defense uh, uh, industry and particularly with respect to Navy. So we are also state that uh, almost all the frontline weapon intensive uh, combat worthy platforms practically okay. all indigenous platforms have been supplied by Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders to the Indian Navy. So this uh, we continue to traverse the same journey. Uh, so what is, uh, what according ahead. to you sir, uh, what according to you is the future of shipbuilding? What kind of investments do you see come into this space? What kind of opportunity do you see for uh, your shipbuilders like yourselves? Of course, as we know, you are the biggest shipyard in the country. So you are contributing most to the assets of the Indian Navy. But just overall for the sector, what do you think the big growth triggers could be? And what is the future now? Considering the geopolitical situation, uh, I believe that uh, investments, uh, as far as the defense is concerned, uh, this uh, cannot be pegged at any number. So whatever would be the requirements, and requirements, we see there are huge requirements with respect to submarines uh, for which we have uh, already participated in the bid, uh, P-75I, Air Independent Propulsion System, six numbers. For the additional Scorpion submarines for which we have submitted the details to the Navy, uh, three numbers. Uh, there are requirements for the additional destroyers. There are requirements for the additional frigates. So going ahead, we definitely see that the market is growing. In the commercial sector also, a lot of demand is there and repair repeat segment also which has uh, not been tapped by us uh, in a significant manner till now 
what will be the growth in the facilities and infrastructure so this is also one segment which uh, we would in Uh, so i see that there is a significant potential as far as the shipbuilding industry is concerned mm. uh, uh so hi good morning uh, prashant here yeah i know you can't talk about uh, because <clears> of <throat> the uh, silent period but give can you give us a broad sense i mean uh, this is i think something something we discussed earlier as well what is the sort of order pipeline for which you have visibility looking like what is that amount to uh, right now i can i can speak about the published numbers uh, as far as the six number uh, aip fitted p75i submarines are concerned uh, as per 2018 a1 it is approximately 43000 crores so maybe with the escalation for the past 6 uh, years this figure uh, would have risen substantially we have submitted our bid so right now not in a position to comment uh, with respect to what bid has been submitted Uh, on senior lines we have an order for six number of scorpion submarines of which we have already delivered five uh, one uh, the last one we are targeting to deliver this year uh, in the same series uh, we are discussing uh, additional three submarines so this also the details have been submitted to the navy once the bids are accepted or opened and discussed uh, then only the numbers would be known so this is with respect to the submarine area and with respect to the destroyers uh, uh, next generation destroyers uh, the ball has started rolling we understand there is a requirement of 6 to 8 uh, next generation destroyers uh, similarly with respect to project 17 alpha frigates of which uh, we are supplying four numbers and grsc is supplying three numbers so there again uh, uh, the discussions are on with respect to a follow on project of 17 bravo uh, so again frigates uh, which uh, we expect would be 6 to 8 in numbers so the final details and contours and with respect to the pricing and the overall project size uh, this clarity would emerge with time i uh, as of now i can only say that uh, 17 alpha as far as mdl portion is concerned four frigates it is approximately 27000 crores Uh, which is uh, being executed currently and which is an order of 2015 so uh, there could be guesses with respect to what should be the pricing today and with respect to destroyers also which is four in numbers 15 bravo which we have three we have delivered and one we are last one we are targeting for delivery this year so this was a 2011 order approximately 34000 crores for four numbers so here again uh, the numbers can be guessed with respect to likely number today uh, for another old stories or depending on the number whether it is 6 or 8 and how the navy got proceeds it. on it with the one single ship builder or two ship builders got it got it uh, so 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 just to uh, it's, it's a, of course i mean the pipeline as you said a lot of this is discussion right and then orders are finalized and then the tender is placed out but uh, and all that we'll track that for now you awaiting uh, sort of The tenders to be open for the P seventy five order and three submarines, right? Immediately. Yeah, and the the additional submarines, additional submarines for me and P seventy five I. Yeah. Okay. Six got numbers. that. Okay. Got that. Uh, so we'll leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Great speaking with you, and I hope to speak once again to you once the numbers uh, are released and you will be able to speak uh, some put out some numbers, specifically some numbers to what you what we discussed here today. We'll.